Just take a moment to have a look at the screen on this, the Xiaomi Mi Mix. You'll notice that it's not only pretty large, but also it's completely curved at the top here and takes up all of the front panel. There are no bezels either side at all. You'll also notice there's no speaker, there's no little sensors for proximity or anything like that. What you're looking at is a completely new way of designing a smartphone screen and body itself. The phone is pretty fantastic and we're going to let you have a closer look at it now. The body is made from ceramic. This is a ceramic edge and what looks like a glass rear panel but it's it's again ceramic and it's a real fingerprint magnet. There's no way this is going to stay clean for any length of time once you start to use it. On this version, which is a, a limited run model, it has 18 karat gold uh, surrounds to the fingerprint sensor there and the camera sensor on the top. And the only bit of information on the rear there, it says Show, uh, mix designed by me. And that's it. There's no other branding whatsoever. So we open up the phone using the fingerprint sensor on the back and again you get this beautiful wide display. The phone itself is quite compact, it's about the same physical size as an iPhone 7 Plus, yet the screen is 6.4 inches in size, so it's really large. It's a 1080p resolution, but uh, it's very bright, very colourful, and we've thoroughly enjoyed using it, primarily because this massive size and these the lack of bezels gives a lot more immersive feelings than we were expecting. Playing games is better, watching video, which we'll demonstrate here, is also really great because you tap the full screen button on a video and you get a proper full screen experience. That's right down to the curved edges here all the way up to the end of the display there, apart from the uh, Android menu buttons just underneath there. That's the only separate area of the screen that's not covered by the video. Really nice immersive experience. Performance is excellent. There's a Snapdragon 821 processor inside. That's the same as you'll find in the Google Pixel phones. And there's six gig gigabytes of RAM in here too. So it's a very high performance smartphone. Now, we'll go back to just a couple of points that we mentioned earlier. This screen, obviously, there's no speaker, there's no proximity sensor, and at first glance, there's no selfie cam either. Well, the selfie cam is down here, that little camera lens here, and that means when you open up the camera app, you actually have to spin the phone around to this uh, orientation so the camera lens is up there to get a proper selfie. But um, although annoying, it's not ideal because not every app recognizes that feature. So you end up having to be a bit of a contortionist with using shutter release buttons. The speaker has been integrated into the, the, into the phone behind the screen. It uses a new piezoelectric sound technology, which means that the sound is actually transmitted through the screen itself. Um, it's a little bit like bone conducting sound. Some people may have used on Google Glass, for example, or some uh, brands of headphones that you can buy. Um, it works extremely well. It means you can hold the phone anywhere up to your ear, pretty much from the top here down to about here and get the same cool sound quality experience throughout. So it's very successful. The proximity sensor, which uh, alerts the phone to it being held close to your face, is a little bit less successful. We found it doesn't always work in every situation. It certainly doesn't turn the phone on, or turn the screen on and off when you might be hoping to. Um, so there are definite improvements to be made, but it's not terrible. It certainly doesn't ruin the experience of the phone. An experience is what the Xiaomi Mi Mix is all about. This is quite expensive. You might end up paying up to a thousand dollars to import one of these, so you're not going to do it on a whim. It is expensive but it's worth it. This is potentially a collector's piece, if nothing else, but you're getting in right at the beginning of what we expect to be a major smartphone trend for the coming year, which is this bezel-less display, properly bezel-less, not like the ones we've seen before. This genuinely has no bezel on its screen and it looks fantastic. As you may have seen when we were flipping around there, this still uses Android as its operating system. 
but it uses Xiaomi's MIUI over the top, which is a little bit different to regular Android. You'll notice a few changes up here to the notification shade and the settings have got a few extra little different things inside. Uh, for example, you can use um, a second space on your phone to use it as, as giving it a separate account, say for your kids or uh, between business accounts. There's also certain apps that will work uh, to alongside each other, which is actually quite handy. So you can have a Facebook account for personal use or for business use. But otherwise, not really that many changes. MIUI is very pleasant to use and there's a ton of customization options from the icons down to the wallpaper to pretty much anything else you can imagine that you can do to the phone as well if you're not quite happy with the way that it looks. We've really enjoyed using the Mi Mix. It's a vision of the smartphone future that you can buy right now. You're going to have to pay a little bit extra for it and you're going to have to import one and that brings with it a few of its own unique issues. You can read our full review of the Xiaomi Mi Mix on Digital Trends right now.